is up everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are down here with the dart and anyways we are taking off the seats on this one to replace the seats on the other dart that is at the other location as you know the seats on there are ripped in a way because the airbags that are implanted in the seats deployed so basically what I'm simply trying to say is either the airbags are gonna have to get fixed and if the airbags are gonna get fixed or replaced those seats are gonna get have to get fixed but what if I take out the seats out of this one that airbags are completely fine it's all assembled nothing's ripped I can get that taken care of right away so we are gonna have to get to it and uh, so what we got here is the rails right here that the seat sits on and of course you got a bolt down here that you're gonna have to unscrew to take it off and here on the other side the bolt is actually under this plastic right here and it's all the way in there so we're gonna take that bolt off we're gonna take this one off and then there's two more at the front of the seat which in order to get to it you're gonna have to move the seat back as you see one's right there and the other one should be in the same spot on the other side so we're gonna get that off now there's a little thing that's that the darts have and uh, that is the bolt that itself is different you know there are some darts now that have just a simple a star bit bolt that basically holds those hold those down but as you see that is not a star that is a more torque actually and if you guys have not seen a more torque set I got one right here and uh, as you see that's exactly what it says I got this uh, about $25, $30. They're kind of pricey. They are actually made by Philips. This is a new type of set of sockets that are coming out. So basically in the near future, these are going to get pretty popular and they're going to use these kind of bolts and majority of the vehicles. But this is what I'm dealing with. So I actually had to buy this just to take the seats off because that is the only place the bolts are at and those are the only place those bolts are at is the seats and that's exactly why I need to take off so what do I have to do I have to buy a brand new set of tools you know just to take my seats off so whatever I mean we're still gonna eventually use it on different vehicles or whatever I eventually probably need it in the future so I went ahead and bought me the set so we're gonna use that to unscrew it basically so we're gonna grab one here stick it in that fits perfectly so that is a number two I believe yes it's a number two if that thing focuses maybe there we go and uh, that is what we will need so of course get the tools ready and this is exactly what you will need so oh, we're gonna stick that on I have no idea why brakes are in here but anyways you stick that in there you want to tight or unscrew and you just go for it and they're really not that tight in there but enough to hold the bolt in so like I said this is uh, not so hard but you just need the right tools for the right job every time also remember that because you don't want to mess up these bolts and end up with messed up bolts and you know have trouble getting them off as you see they come off pretty easily just gonna set 
this one in there. That's where it fits. Of course, these bolts are designed to be not stripped, so if you put the tool or the bit in there the right way, there's a guarantee that you will never strip it. So basically these, I mean, it's a good design, but then again, nobody actually has this in any other vehicle. As you see, this is the only place for this car that actually has this, but you know, eventually, like I said, this is gonna get pretty popular. As you see, it is called a more torque super bit set so that's kind of what it is so we're gonna unscrew that and uh, take that bolt out and you see there it is and uh, we're gonna move to the back of course if you're gonna do the back ones you're gonna have to move this seat forward as you saw it already is moving around not really connected in any way but this needs to be removed also whenever that thing fits and get this removed also I need to get there and then remove that side of it too so as you see we got this one unscrewed we got that one unscrewed and uh, the bolt is actually somewhere down here yet yeah, there they are both of them but as you know we go up to the front part of it, kind of move it back, and there's a reason for that. We are gonna have to get under it, and uh, as you see, wires are connected, so you will need to disconnect those in there. Pretty easy to disconnect, you just pull this thing down. Pretty simple, nothing too hard, and you should be good to go. Everything else should be disconnected. So we're gonna remove the seat. And basically, just gotta be a little careful, but other than that, it should come out real easily. They're not too heavy. Maybe around, uh, say about 30 to 40 pounds, but other than that, they're pretty easy to take out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the driver's seat. So, uh, that's what's going on. I'm going to do the same thing to the driver's seat. Have that one removed because, of course, I want all the seats to match. And technically, the seats do match, but the seats in that one are so dirty. I don't know who owned it before I got it, but, you know, it's so dirty to the point where, you know, it's almost pointless to clean. And I do have clean seats right here. This is a brand new car. This only got like a thousand miles on this thing. So, I mean, basically nobody's ever or barely has sat in these seats anyway. So these are pretty clean seats. I can take these off, put it on that one. Of course, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna replace the one in the back also. And I will show you how to do that. So first off, I'm gonna replace or in other words, take out that seat right there first, which is the driver's seat, and uh, we'll move to the back for the rest of it. thing disconnected and uh, unscrewed as you see it moves everywhere so we are gonna pull this thing out and uh, yeah let's get it out of here so now we got these two right here that are taken out of the car as you see nothing in there 
and we are gonna get to the back part of it and uh, get all this trash to the front of course all this we don't need right now but what we're gonna do basically is we got to replace the bottom part of it and we're gonna take the top off and the top of it is gonna be a little bit more complicated than the bottom the bottom is actually pretty easy on the bottom you just pop these bottom pieces off you got a bolt right there you got one on this side take that out and as you see you got a bolt and we're gonna take that off and uh, have that basically and uh, get that bottom part of the seat off that way we can start removing the back side of it which you know the one you lean on the side the back side you know what I'm talking about um so that's what's going on so we're gonna get right here and uh, drop this thing off and we're gonna get a 13 millimeter set in there and uh, use that to unscrew it as you see I'll put that thing in there and uh, as you know it loosens that up and get that part of it now remember these pieces right here are plastic, so if you end up pulling it on, if you end up pulling on this a little too hard, it will break. I know that from experience because I have done that before. So, as you see, take the bolt off of here, the other bolt off of here. And we should be good to go throw all this trash up in the front that's actually a brand new drive belt as you see I got so much parts for these cars it's almost unbelievable but anyways as you see it's lifting up now you can't just lift the thing up what you're gonna have to do is you need to push it back before you pull it up so like it's really good when you don't have a seat at the front so what you do is when you pick it up don't pick it up too high you just pick it up a little bit you push inward and then you raise that way it disconnects from the hooks at the bottom which I will show you here in a minute now do remember that you have wires connected on this side and wires connected on this side they're pretty easy to disconnect just pull on the plastic bottom Security lock, push, and it should come off real easily. Just take the uh, bottom security lock for it, and you take that bottom part off. You do the same thing on the other side. It's really easy. All you gotta do is pull on it, and uh, as you see it's pretty easy you just disconnect that and your bottom part of the seat is off now I'll show you why it locks in place and why you need to push in well you see these places right here and this this part right here basically these two pieces right here hook up to these two hooks so what you're doing is when you're pushing it in you're basically unlocking it and once you kind of unlock it you raise it up so it goes above it and uh, that would basically unlock it from it being locked in place but that's kind of how you get this off now to get the back part of it off you're gonna have to drop this thing down and then as you probably guys know you do pull on this simple as that more parts as you see like i said anyone need dodge dart parts you can always comment down below but anyways so what we have here is this bracket right here that goes down you're gonna have to take this carpet off to 
look underneath and you see this big bolt right here and uh, if you look at the front here as you see it's kind of like mounted right there so this bracket basically is holding on with this one bolt right here so once you unscrew this there will be the same thing on the other side if we get to it here in a minute we're gonna see if I drop this down you pull this carpet up and on the bottom as you see you got the same exact stuff going on here now in the middle you got this bracket that's holding the middle piece you got two bolts you got one right here and you got one right there that way you can uh, remove those and once you do that basically your seat should come off or your back seat part of it should come off pretty easily so let's get to it remove those bolts and uh, take the seat out and see how it goes well now we got two more bolts right here and one right there that holds the seat belt up and we're gonna have to release those so as you see we got an 18 millimeter right here that goes in there hook that thing up and it's a pretty good pull but that's what we have to do here so let's remove those and get back to it so we got those removed all you gotta do is take these two out also remember to collect your nuts um, that one I just screwed back in because I really don't need it off and second off you know it's not bothering me anyways but as you see when we pull on this this whole thing is loose so we should be able to get it off now so all you do is make sure they're disconnected because it does latch on the side so in order for this to work you're gonna have to have it disconnected or unlatched on the side and then you just pull on the bottom do the same thing on the other side which I could probably manage from here and as you see it is off so we're gonna take all of this down to the other vehicle so as you see we have the seat the bottom part of the seat this is the back setup and we got the drivers or that's the driver's side that's the passenger side got all the seats off and uh, we're gonna go over to the other vehicle and uh, of course remove the ones in the vehicle probably even take them back here I'm not gonna screw them in or anything I'm just gonna throw them in here just you know that way they're off out of the weather but we are gonna install these in there that way everything is set up on the inside of the car and uh, pretty soon gonna get it ready for the outside body piece work you know whatever um, there's gonna be a lot of bondoing going on on that vehicle plus the whole back fender I will show you everything later in a minute but as I said we are gonna go over there so uh, yeah let's get to it And the dart right there it is the one you guys always saw this is the damage that was that I was talking about um it's all fender wise it does need a door of course it is smashed in but it will need a lot of 
a lot of framework also on this door frame and stuff but all it is mostly is this fender part of it if you guys watched my previous videos of course you show of course I showed you guys what is going on here and you probably saw what was wrong with the wheel before because of course when it's uh, when whoever hit it or whatever it was bent inward and it broke the bottom piece and uh, basically it just bent it so I got that replaced so right now that wheel is standing straight but everything else needs to be fixed now the reason why I'm replacing seats is that crap right there that is the airbag actually embedded into the seat so if I had to replace these I'm gonna have to replace them first off and then second off I'm gonna have to pack all this up which the new airbag of course is gonna be packed already so I don't have to worry about it but what I'm gonna have to worry about is patching this up which it is not really a big deal it is pretty easy to do but I mean if I have if I have seats already why not just replace them and uh, you know have new seats in there of course if we go up to the front you got the same issue of course you know the damage right there so most of the stuff is gonna happen on the side of the vehicle um, the side curtain airbags have been replaced already you guys haven't seen that video please do check it out um, but other than that there's this side goofy airbag hanging out and like I said again I can replace it but then again I'm gonna have to worry about patching all of this back together which it's not a big deal but then again I do have the seats so why wouldn't I just replace them you know simple as that you know either I'll screw the bolts and have it done in five minutes or probably take me about an hour or two hours to sew all this up and hopefully it looks stock because you know I'm not a professional sewer and if I get someone else to sew it you know money talks so that's what I'm running into so I'm gonna replace this one I'm gonna replace the driver's side too because as you see these are like really stained it's got leaves in here like uh, unbelievable like it's got dirt like if I hit this it's gonna have dust flying all over the place I have no idea who drove this vehicle and I guarantee whoever drove this vehicle lived in a place where there was just dirt everywhere and probably the guy didn't or the gal didn't care and of course probably a guy I guarantee you because gals um, I do have respect for them because they do tend to be a little more cleaner than some guys out there that are not at all but like I said I'm gonna replace this one replace that one I'm gonna have to replace this one and I don't know I might leave that one I might replace it I'm well I guess I'm, I'm gonna go, go I'm gonna go ahead and replace that one also just to be safe so let's get that done get those out of the vehicle as you see they're all loaded up gonna take everything out got the seat in here got the other seat on the other side got this back part of it and the front part is that piece sticking up so uh, yeah let's uh, get those out change them out and of course I don't know if you guys want a real instructional video of how to do that I will post it all you gotta do is uh, comment below but if not then I'm right now I'm just gonna replace them and um, I'll give you a little glance from this side of the car is what it looks like so of course I'm gonna have all those replaced so uh, let me get to it and uh, change it out like I said it 
probably take me 20 minutes because I know this car pretty well. Might even take me 15 minutes, but like I said, really easy to take the seats off of those, apparently. So, other thing I wanted to uh, address is, remember I was talking about that torque screw or whatever? Well, this one's not a torque screw. So, apparently, this is a 2014 model. The one I was pulling out the seats out of was the 15 model, 2015 model. So apparently, when they changed over to the 15 models, they changed out the bolts on it. So of course, I probably understand it's for advertisement purposes. You know, in order to take that bolt out, you gotta pay and buy this tool set from a certain company, you know, and that's, it's all advertisement with the companies. But anyways, for me not to get away from the point of me trying to get this done, let me get it done, get it out of the way, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Well, so everybody, I got everything installed. As you see, the old seat is right there. The old front driver's seat is right there. As you see, everything is installed. As previously so it's not that hard to install everything um, that's the airbag as you see piece where the airbags coming out so as you know I got that replaced that's gone and also the seat at the passenger where you got the airbag coming out I also I also got that taken care of. So basically, that is done. So I don't have to worry about all the airbags, systems, pieces that uh, were and were not connected. All the airbags that deployed, uh, don't have to worry about replacing those. I did replace that one that was uh, on the top for, you know, the side curtain airbag. But everything else basically was inside the seats. All the rest of the airbags are inside the seats. So basically they're connected. They're good to go. So don't have to worry about that. So like I said, got all the seats replaced. Everything is set up the way it used to. So um, that's all I got for you guys. So if you did like this video, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification after you hit the subscribe button. So you will be notified when I release the next videos. Also, please do share all my videos on Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, whatever, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.